So, I have some good news for you guys. You can change. Carol Dweck, in her book, Mindset, talks about the psychology of the difference between a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. In simplest terms, the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset, the fixed mindset, if you have a fixed mindset, you will tend to believe that you are the person you are, and you can't change that. You believe in tests being able to tell you who exactly you are and just feeling like you can't change that. This is who I am, this is what I do. The growth mindset believes that everything can be changed and tests are just creating your, it's just your situation in the moment and it's just, you know, how smart you are, or who you are in the moment. But if you don't like that person, you can change. Depending on how you're raised, our society can grow you into a fixed mindset person or it can grow you into a growth mindset person. And one of the things that I really liked that she talked about in her book was she did a study with four-year-old children and gave them a puzzle to do. Even at that young age, she was able to identify which children had the fixed mindset versus the growth mindset. She'd give them a puzzle and once they solved this puzzle, she gave them a choice of, okay, would you like to do that puzzle again? Or would you like to move on to a new puzzle, maybe a more challenging puzzle? And the students, the children with the fixed mindset wanted to say, oh, you know, I already know how to solve this puzzle. I wanna go ahead and do it again. That way uh, it looks like I know what I'm doing and I can appear smarter. And the students with the growth mindset said, why would I wanna do the same puzzle again? I already did it, let's move on to something else. I want to learn something new. And it's not that either one of these mindsets are bad. In fact, you have to choose what you want to have a fixed mindset on and what you wanna have a growth mindset on. But I just wanna let you know the things that you don't like about yourself can actually be changed. You know, something else she said in the book that really stuck with me was she mentioned Alfred Bennett. And if you don't know who that is, uh, he lived in the early 1900s and he's the inventor of the IQ test. So the IQ test, for the last century, this test has really helped people in identifying how smart they really are. Uh, but what it has molded and grown into is this test that determines your worthiness, that determines who you are and how smart you are forever. People take this test and then they say, this is my IQ. But Alfred Bennett, the guy who invented it, he actually said, you know, this test is just to identify your intelligence level at that moment. He believed in the growth mindset. You know, if you study for the IQ test, if you study and, you know, try and figure out more problems uh, in your life and study those types of solutions, you can actually grow your IQ. The test was never intended for you to identify yourself, to label yourself as, this is how smart I am and this is where I'm at forever. So why do people believe that something like a test or something like what somebody says uh, determines who they are? You can change it. And you know what? It's okay if you've made mistakes in the past because what you have to do is take those mistakes and if you don't like the outcome, if you don't like how that situation in the past turned out, just learn from it, grow from it, and then choose not to do it again or choose to do it, figure out how to do it better next time. So you can change, guys. Uh, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. There are some things that you may not want to give up that you can stay fixed on because you believe wholeheartedly in it. Um, but don't let it stop you. Don't let it hold you back. Develop that growth mindset. You know, the greatest people in the world were not 
born great. If you listen to any successful person's story, uh, whether it be an entrepreneur, a business owner, a sports star, a movie star, you know, I guarantee you they started in a spot where they didn't know what they were doing. They were bad at whatever it is they're good at now. And they grew, they developed, they changed. So don't let what somebody said stop you. Uh, Don't let what a test told you you are stop you. A big thing is don't let your teachers and your parents and, you know, these are big influences in your life, guys. And sometimes they cultivate a fixed mindset for you. And uh, I just want to let you know, you have the power to be who you want to be. You can change and adapt into the person you want to become. Uh, Really start studying the successful people. One thing I always like to say, this is the best advice I've ever heard, and I say it all the time. I'm sure you guys will hear it from me multiple times, but it's get your advice from reputable sources. If someone's telling you how to make a bunch of money and they're broke, not a reputable source. If they're telling you what you need to do to get fit, get uh, healthy, and you know they're overweight and obese, not a reputable source, right? If they're telling you how you need to change your life to be happy and they're miserable, not a reputable source. Get your advice from reputable sources. Learn from the people who are living the life that you want to live. So Mark Cuban has a quote that I really like, and I want to read it to you guys because it really goes along well with this. It's, it doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times you almost get it right. No one is going to care about your failures, and neither should you. All you have to do is learn from them and those around you, because all that matters in business is that you get it right once. Then everyone can tell you how lucky you are. I love it because these people think that, you know, successful people just get lucky or they just get successful overnight or, you know, they were just the ones that were found. It's not about that. There are so many examples of successful people who have struggled, had such a rough life. And, you know, if someone is successful, more successful than you are, it just means they've failed more than you have. They've tried more things than you have, and they've gone through more shit. Just keep going, keep learning from your mistakes. You know, you'll get better and better at the things you're trying, but don't give up. When you start a business, you know, what I've found, not just business, but what I've found when you try to be successful at something is first, before you start, you have this idea, and this idea here is the idea you have to become successful. And then when you start, to execute that idea, you realize that you really knew nothing about the subject because you've never done it before. And so you start to go on the decline. And then down here at the bottom, this is typically when people are like, okay, you know what? This wasn't for me. I wasn't made for this. And that's the fixed mindset talking, right? And then they give up, right? But what the successful people do is they do this. They have this idea and then they let it bring them down and they're like, you know what, this isn't working as well as I thought, but I really want to achieve this goal. And so what they do is they keep trying new things and then they discover something and they go up a little bit and then they plateau and then they discover something new and then they go up a little bit and they plateau. And then eventually they're, you know, way up here, right? And their thought was they started here, but because they kept trying stuff, this is what happens in business. It's what happens when you do anything to try and be successful at, you know, success, mindset, uh, relationships, you know, uh, health, wealth, all of it. It, you know, it starts here. You know nothing about the subject. So don't feel bad when you start to fail at it, you know, just push through it. You're going to look like a fool to other people, but that's why you, you can't care what other people think. Most people have fixed mindsets anyway, right? About certain things. Um, so just, push through it, power through it, surround yourself by supporting people, you know, people that support you, learn from the best of the best, get your advice from reputable sources. I love that quote Mark Cuban has, you know, no one starts out becoming successful. So I want you guys to just realize that you can change the way you are 
You can change the things you don't like about yourself. Develop a growth mindset. The most successful people in the world have a growth mindset on the, in the places that matter. So you can change, guys. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.